Let me tell y'all something. I have been waiting on this ring, okay? Y'all know Val- Val- <laughs> Why can't I talk today? <laughs> I think I'm too excited. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel! Your girl's engaged, I'ma hope y'all say yes if you have been wondering where the heck I have been. There's just been a lot, like there's this, but there's a lot more that's been happening personally, but your girl is back and I'm ready to talk about these rocks, honey. So I actually have my fiance on video chat right now. So we're gonna do a full engagement story. We're gonna show you guys our actual engagement video. Be prepared to cry, just grab your tissues from now. Um, and then we're also gonna do a little q and I went on Instagram and asked you guys, you know, whatever questions you have about us, about our engagement, whatever, we're gonna answer a majority of those questions today. So I'm excited, this is my favorite thing to talk about. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here he is. This is my fiance, y'all. <laughs> um, so we're, we're gonna actually show you guys the actual engagement video. He recorded it and everything. Um, but before we jump into that, we just wanna give you like a quick little background of the engagement. So it happened in February, uh, around Valentine's Day. We didn't actually go out on Valentine's Day night because it's always like so busy and crowded at restaurants and stuff and we ain't got no tent but that. So we actually decided to go out for Valentine's Day a couple nights after actual Valentine's Day. So we went to my favorite restaurant, Poor Calvin's. Oh wait, hold on. Let me rewind a little bit because when we were deciding that we were gonna do Valentine's Day like a couple nights later, um, he was booking my favorite restaurant, Poor Calvin's, and he also mentioned to me, he was like, oh, we should check out the Ferris wheel as well that night. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> but he never ever actually confirmed that he actually booked it. He kind of just like mentioned it and I was like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. And threw it out there. Yeah, you just like threw <laughs> it out there. And because we had been on the Ferris wheel in the daytime, we had said that time that we wanted to come back in the nighttime to see it with the pretty night lights and stuff. So we were, yeah, but he just kind of mentioned it. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So like, it comes to the night and we are going to dinner and um, had a great time at dinner. I was just excited. Everything personally that was kind of, it was just a lot going on. So I was really excited to just have that moment with my bae. And then after dinner, he's like, so we're going to go on the Ferris wheel. And I was like, we are? Like you actually booked it? I was shocked because like he didn't ever confirmed with me that he booked it. So I was like, okay. So we drive over to the Ferris wheel. We were a couple minutes early, so we like sat in the car a little bit and he we started joking around with like VIP because the Ferris wheel here in Atlanta, they have like regular carts where you could potentially be in there with like strangers and stuff. Or you could get the VIP cart, which has like cushioned seating, little AC, like it's like really nice in there. You get like a drink and stuff if you want. Um, so we were joking like, dang, we should have got VIP, we should have got VIP. And then we walk up and the guy's like, um, can I get your tickets? He shows the tickets and then he like ushers us to the actual people who put you on the carts. And then he goes, he steps in front of me and goes, yeah, we got VIP. But even then, like I wasn't really expecting it. Like, let me tell y'all something. I have been waiting on this ring, okay? I have been waiting, I have been ready. So it's been like when my birthday came up, when we had Christmas, when we had New Year's Eve, every single time I was like, maybe this is it, maybe this is it, because I've been so excited, I really, really wanted it. Um, so ahead of like the Valentine's Day dinner, I was kind of like, okay, maybe it's Valentine's Day. But then I was like, nah, cause and he always told me like, I want to surprise you. Like, I don't want you to know that it's coming, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, he knows what do it on Valentine's Day. So like it came in my mind, but then I let it go. And I was like, nah, he's not going to do it. And lo and behold, he got me a VIP ticket for us to go in a Ferris wheel. And he got on one knee inside the Ferris wheel. <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. So we're going to, that's a little background. We're going to go ahead and show you the actual video now so y'all can see it firsthand. I'm so glad that he was able to get it on video. Babe, going up is the worst part. It is the worst part. Coming down makes scary. me excited because I'm like, oh, we're coming down. But like, going up, I'm like, oh my God. The lights are pretty though. I do like it at night. Oh, 
because I'm, I'm a little scared of heights and so I get nervous on the Ferris wheel. I do still enjoy going with him but I get a little nervous. The last time we did it he was filming me and laughing at me and all that stuff so when he put up his phone to record us I was like okay he's just filming my reaction. Like literally when I was in the in the Ferris wheel I had absolutely no idea. I, I It did not cross my mind. That he, I just thought we were having a good night and I was Excited to be spending the night with him and just getting some quality time in. That's my top love language. So I was like just really excited. Literally had no idea it was coming. So when he did it, I was just like. <laughs> That's exactly how I wanted it. <gasps> I know. You got me. You actually got me good because. But I told you I was going to get you though. <laughs> I know. But like I can always tell. Like I. I know him better than he knows himself, so I was like, there's no way you're going to be able to surprise me 100%. Like, I'm going to know that you're planning something, but literally, like, I'm actually really surprised at how good he did. I just feel, I feel like I should have known, like, there were signs, like, now that I look back, there were signs. So, first of all, between the two of us, I'm always the one that gets cold, right? Um, so, we're going to Port Calvin's, and... In Atlanta in February, it's technically winter, but Atlanta, you can get any kind of weather any given day. So some days it's 30s, some days it's 60s. And that was a 60 degree night. So it was like nice out. And he had on this big old jacket and I had on a dress showing my legs and stuff. My dress was long sleeve, but it was short. So my legs were out and everything. So I was like, why are you wearing a jacket? It's 60s out. Like, it's good. It's nice out today. And he, he was just like, no, I like it. I got to look fresh. And I was like, okay. <laughs> what was a fit? What you talking about? <laughs> and then, and then when we were eating dinner, he kept the jacket on. So I was just like, why do you have the jacket on? I personally even felt hot in my long sleeve. So I was like, why don't you take your jacket off? Because it's kind of hot. He goes, oh, no, no. He's like, I'm actually a little bit cold. And I was like. I was dying in that jacket. I was sweating bullets. Because <laughs> it, was, it was actually warm in the restaurant. I was like, yo, I need to take the jacket off. Like, badly. <laughs> but I still, I still didn't think anything of it. But that's where you had the ring, right? In the jacket pocket. Yeah, it was in the jacket pocket. So I didn't want to take the jacket off and then like put it somewhere and it is like either one it's obvious or two like it get, it gets stolen or something. So I know. Oh, you did good because I literally you played it off pretty well and you didn't seem nervous or anything to me. You just seemed normal and I'm so glad like that you did it when you did it even despite everything that was kind of going on because I was able to have like one thing that was like really nice and amazing for me to hold on to, you know? Because February was a hard month for me, personally. Yeah, and that's, um, I actually was having second thoughts about doing it then, too, because, you know, like you said, everything that was going on for you. But I spoke to your friend, I spoke to Ash. <laughs> Listen, Ash is my best friend from kindergarten. Like, literally, lifetime friends, right? And she knew the whole time and the thing is like i said i was looking forward to this ring okay and i would complain to her i would call her and be like anytime i get my hopes up and he wouldn't propose i'd be like ah she didn't 
propose. I really thought it was gonna be this time, but he didn't. I don't know, like, does he really want to marry me? Blah, blah blah. This whole time he had the ring. He, she already know that he had the ring. He was planning. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the night of our engagement, I called her and I was like, Oh my god, like he did it. And she was like, Girl, I'm so sorry. I've been a fake friend. <laughs> Gonna, the whole time she knew the whole time i was like oh was my god <laughs> that actually babe so we got questions from y'all on instagram to see like what it is that you guys what else you guys wanted to know about us and our engagement and that actually brings me to one of the questions that we received quite a bit actually from quite a few people is how long did you have the ring uh okay so i originally had the ring for I want to say it was like maybe six, six months, seven months. How long were you actually like looking for rings? So before you got it in your possession, how long were you looking for rings? Like, so I was looking for rings for maybe about ooh, almost a year. So you yeah. spent all that time looking and then you found one and then you got it and then you had to send it back and resize yeah. it. And it's still, it's honestly still a little bit big, but I love it. I don't want to go without it, so let me show y'all a little close up of this ring because she's everything, everything. Y'all see this? I this is my style. This is my style. Super simple, but still like just absolutely beautiful. Honestly, he did amazing because I could have never even picked a better ring for myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> so it's, what is it, babe? It's a halo cushion cut. That's the details on the ring. Yeah, I think it's like halo cushion or something like that. Ugh. Yeah, my so, favorite. Some those lines. So we'll link that uh, website below because they're actually made to order. So I feel really special and stuff. And it's beautiful. It comes with like the details of the diamonds and it's like legit, okay? So we'll include those details in the description box below in case you want to forward this video to your boyfriend or something, someone that <laughs> you are ready to receive a ring from. Just uh, send them this video and all the links will be there. Um. Ooh, this is a good one. Did you ask my parents for my blessing what was the first question i asked you after he's like does your, does your parents know <laughs> and then so tell them about the dinner you had with them yeah so we had a dinner at steakhouse what was it called steak social mm -hmm. yeah and yeah it just went it just went really well but what did my dad say like what exactly did you say <laughs> um what did i say again i was like um I told him I was like, I'm planning to propose to your daughter and I just want to get your blessing. And then I showed him the ring. I, well, he was like, wow. He's like, of course. Aww. And he shook, shook my hand and yeah. <laughs> ah, that's so cute. I wish I could have like been there to like see <laughs> that moment. You know, I was a little bit nervous, but I'm glad that we are, we are at like a steakhouse, you know, so I could just eat food after and feel better. <laughs> If there's one thing me and him like is eating some good food. Um, okay, so how long have you guys been dating? When did you know that he or she was the one? So we've been dating. June 18th is our anniversary date. So the 19th, I'm um, the 19th. June 18th, 2019 is when we made it official. Um, yeah. so we're almost at three years this June 2022 will be three years together um, When I knew that he was the one so I'm gonna answer first babe, and then you're gonna have to say When you knew that I was the one so start thinking about it. All right. Don't take my answer. Okay. I'll try not to so I always knew that he was like husband material um because he's always been just a sweet man, just, just, just the best, right? Um, but I feel like I kind of knew he was the one when, like, when we had to go through this whole long distance experience, I think is what showed me truly that, like, you can marry this man. Y'all can make it through anything and you can marry this man because... We would have struggles, um, like long distance is really, really difficult, especially when there's a whole worldwide panoramic pizza happening at the same time. So, um, you know, going through 
it was going through the hard moments with him and coming out the other side was when I realized so probably yeah like 2020 was the year when I was like dang like it was really hard um, on both of our ends but we were able to kind of come out the other side and to this day that's one of my favorite things about our relationship is how we deal with arguments how we deal with hard stuff because we argue and we go through stuff but it's always how we come out of them and like move forward is like so amazing because we always like end up calming down and we talk to each other and we really listen and understand each other and we just always move forward a little bit better. So we've done a lot of growing together, even though we were physically apart. And yeah, that's kind of when I realized like, yeah, I'm gonna marry this one. <laughs> How about you, babe? Yeah, you kind of took my answer there. No, 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 you cheated. I should have made you go first. <laughs> yeah, like you said, it's kind of just like how we how we go through things together and how we grow. I love the way we communicate with each other and I feel like that's one of our one of our biggest, you know, biggest strengths. Through distance we were able to just overcome obstacles that were facing us and we just came out on top. We came out on y'all hear that? On yeah. top. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. This is a cute question. So we'll make this the last question. What's okay. one thing that we've learned from each other? So I'm gonna I'm make you go first this time. What's one thing that you've learned from me? I've always had problems um, kind of like, you know, and voicing how I really feel. So I feel like with you, I've become a much better communicator. I am able to like say what's, what I actually want to say and it, it just feels easy with you. Uh, babe, I'm gonna cry now. Let's not. <laughs> Um, okay, for me, um, what I've learned from you, he is Mr. Patience, he's Mr. Forgiveness, and I think those are qualities that I struggle with a little bit, so those are things I really look up to in him, and I have learned how to have a little bit more patience and be a little bit more chill. I'm, like, we're opposites in that sense of, like, I'm very type A and ready to go, I gotta plan everything, blah, blah, blah. But he's very kind of chill and like relaxed and like everything's gonna be fine. So I stress him out when he needs to be stressed out and he makes me chill when I need to like chill. So that's what I learned from him is just being more patient, you know, being forgiving and just letting go of stuff and just, you know, just living in the moment and enjoying life. Honestly, I feel like, I feel like another thing about our relationship as well, since we're talking about all this, is that he is a person who brings out the absolute best in me like have you ever been with somebody who brings out the absolute worst qualities in you and it's just toxic but you're addicted and it's just crazy like one of the things i love about him is he just brings out the best qualities in me and like he my favorite version of me is who he brings out of me just naturally not even with him saying to me like you need to be more like this and you need to be more like this like just naturally with us being together encourages me to be my best and my personal favorite version of myself and i love that but yeah guys that is basically it for our engagement story and you know learning a little bit more about us through q and a i hope you guys enjoyed it i surely did i'm feeling all mushy now like <laughs> after talking about all the things um but i'm so excited at this stage we're just kind of you know enjoying the engagement and also getting into a little bit of wedding planning here and there so yeah, exciting times and we're really looking forward to seeing what the future holds. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.